In this short video we will talk about the symptoms that abdominal wall hernias cause as well as the different types of hernias so if you have one you should be able to recognize it. Typically all hernias appear as a lump uh, so you can see them popping out at different points of weakness within the abdominal wall as illustrated in this picture. Initially these hernias may be reducible, what does that mean? That they can be pushed back or they disappear when patient lies down. At some point almost all hernias will become painful and the pain will be described as dragging, burning or pressure. Now a lot depends on what's inside the hernia and how big is the neck of the hernia. The neck of the hernia is the point at which the inside organs traverse into the sac of the hernia. Lastly, everyone should be aware of the dreaded complication strangulation and I'll explain this in more detail in the following video. Now let's look at the different types of abdominal wall hernias. These are the commonest types that we encounter. Inguinal hernia occurs in the groin. In this area it typically starts above the crease of the groin and tends to grow towards the midline. So here we see the lump starting from the corner there and moving downwards. If treatment is not offered or, or done, then this tends to get bigger and in men it would travel down towards the scrotum and get bigger in size. The other common uh, hernia in the groin is the femoral hernia or the femoral hernia. This is more common in women and the start of the hernia is typically just below uh, the crease of the groin and this too can grow towards the midline. This typically tends to be smaller and this is more dangerous because the neck is quite tight and the risk of strangulation is fairly high with a femoral hernia. We get hernias around the belly button. Uh, these are fairly common in babies and in infants they tend to correct themselves in that age group in adults they're called panomblical hernias or round umbilicus the site of weakness uh, there is a point midline uh, between the breastbone and the belly button where epigastric hernias can form and they form they have slightly different symptoms associated with it they can be burning pain and they are often confused with a peptic ulcer. Now lastly and importantly hernias typically as I've explained occur at sites of weakness and if uh, people have had an operation for whatever reason uh, those incisions are sites of weakness. So the commonest being appendix incision or those for phenon steel uh, or a c-section scar uh, or midline scar or operations on the kidney. Now at all of these at some point uh, a hernia may occur giving rise to a lump uh, and then the rest of the symptoms are fairly typical as are the race. So these are the in general the common types of hernias that may occur. Uh, please see the following video for to understand the risk of uh, or the risk of strangulation or why it might occur.